Good morning. Amanda, I believe that uh, God's Spirit was working between the two of us this morning because um, you said something in your prayer that we are all together, we who are believers together. How many believe the kingdom will be established upon the earth? Amen. How many believe that God is one? Amen. I believe, how many of you believe that the kingdom will be established in Israel? Amen. I do. And that Jerusalem will be the holy city. How about that? Boy, are you guys getting tired of this? <laughs> but you know, God, God gives us his word. He helps us. And I think back, and I'm going to share scripture. On the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit came upon the believers. And then Peter went out to speak to them. But what happened after that, I think is even more important than the word that Peter spoke on that day. I believe that when the believers got together, any believers here? Okay, I was just wondering. And, and any, we, it, the scriptures tells us one thing, more than one thing. They all had all things in common. And as we gather today, or many times here at the camp, it was believers that came together and we all had everything in common. Not the wealth, not the family, but the believers in God, in Jesus Christ, and the salvation that he provided through the cross. <clears throat> In Acts chapter 2, it says, They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread and prayer. Everyone was filled with awe of many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had a need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people. And the Lord added to their number daily to those who are being saved. Being a pastor in the state of Minnesota, um, I, I'd like to see a hand. How many of you have had me in your house for something? Anybody? Brad, <laughs> Don Lynn? Uh, yeah, I, I, can, I, can, uh, I can point you all out. And you know what was really cool? We all believe the same thing. All the same thing. Harlan and Kathy believed in us so much that we got a dog from them. <laughs> and we praise God for that. It was fun. But it's wonderful to see that we don't have to worry about what we're saying to the believers. We all believe the same thing. And what that does, it just encourages us to share even more and more to those around us. We have a responsibility to, the, to those who are not believers. And that re responsibility is to share the message of God, the message of Jesus Christ, the message of the kingdom of God, the message of salvation. That's our responsibility. As we eat the bread and drink the cup, the Bible tells us, tell, Jesus said, do this in remembrance of me. Do it in remembrance of me. I can tell you all day long about Jesus Christ. Can anybody else do that? Yeah. We can talk about Christ. We can talk about his ministry. We can talk about the love he had for the people. We can talk about his death and crucifixion. We can talk about Christ all day long. And, I can, and we can talk about the kingdom. We can talk about God, our creator, our sustainer, the one who loved us to give, loved us more by giving his son as a sacrifice, we are the believers. You and you and you and you, we're all believers. We have all things in common.
Let's pray for the bread. Father God, we just praise you this morning for the the things you've done to us, for us throughout our lives. You love us and you take care of us and you sustain us. Lord, more than that, Lord God, we, more than that, you loved us enough to give your only son to die on a cross for our sins. This bread symbolizes his body that was broken for us. It's, it's terrifying to think the suffering that Jesus had to go through for each and every one of us. But as we eat this bread, let us do that in remembrance of him because he loved us so much. The kingdom's coming soon, Lord, do you know that? And we pray for that day to be soon. In Jesus' name, amen. In the book of Corinthians, the apostle Paul said, on the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread and he took the cup. And he's with the disciples. Just to imagine that time that they had the, the bread and the cup together, and it wouldn't be long later that Jesus was taken into custody, that he was beaten, that he had a crown of thorns put on his head. They made him carry his cross up to the hill Golgotha. Then they drove nails into his hands and to his feet, and the blood that was sacred that was for you was being drained out of his body. How sad to think that God could not look upon his son and Jesus cried out, Father, Father, why do you for, why do you forsake me? I wonder today why so many people forsake Jesus Christ. He's the only one that can provide salvation for us. He loved us so much. For God so loved the world that he gave his son. And what a beautiful thought that uh, God loved me so much. And Jesus loved me so much to die for our sins. This cup, the juice, symbolizes the life that Jesus gave us through his blood. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for allowing Jesus to die for us. We'll pray that, we pray that um, as we remember him, that we realize that it was a sacrifice that provides salvation, that salvation that we'll all share together in, in your glorious kingdom. We look forward to that day. We know it can't be long. We look at our world and see all the, the strife and the war and everything else that's going on right now. But Father, we know that through Jesus, you'll bring peace and the believers will be together. The ones that are here, the believers throughout the world who believe in you being the one God, believing in Jesus who is your son, believing in salvation that he provides believing in the kingdom that will be established upon this earth. Father, we praise you for that. We look forward to that. We just love you. Thank you, and Jesus, thank you for the love that you showed to us on the cross. In Jesus' name.